and welcome back to the Stretch and Samurai. My name is Patrick Ravel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick exercise that does your whole rotator cuffs, muscles, and stabilizers in one move. But before I get into that, I'd like to say thank you for all the pictures that you send me. I'm actually making a video right now that will have everybody's posture and I will explain a little bit about every single posture and what to do to fix it. But today we're going to focus on rotator cuffs. I'm going to show you the cool little exercise that I've learned from uh, PRI and I put a little twist into it. We're going to do internal and external rotators on the ground and as you can see when we do rotator cuffs in PRI sometimes we like to put a band on the top part and on the bottom part. Right now one band is tied to my squat cage, the other one to my Vicor bench and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double internal external rotator without utilizing the lat or the chest which is often what we need when we're injured and after I'm going to show you how to engage the serratus anterior a bit while doing dynamic stability so check this out guys what you're going to need of course like I said it's tied in the front and the back you're going to need two bands of equal strength okay and then you're going to put yourself in your back and what's very important is you have the right strength so test the strength on the bottom test the strength up if it's too hard maybe bring yourself a little bit down because the external is always a little bit weaker than the internal right so what we're going to do is we're going to tilt the pelvis a little bit up retrovert the pelvis you're going to bring in the arm for the internal and the external I want you to breathe four to five breaths and hold that pose just like that strengthening both at the same time once you're done you're gonna come back and this is the fun part here's the twist guys we're gonna add the serratus we're gonna add dynamic stability so I'm just gonna straighten up my arms bring my arms to 45 and then I'm gonna perform rotations for four inches rotations and I'm gonna just gently go just like that and do a few reps like this a few reps like that clockwise counterclockwise just giving a little bit of dynamic stability and when I get tired I bring it down I release the bands and there you go guys so what we got we got serratus interior we have dynamic stability we have internal and external rotators and what do you do when you've did one side you turn around and you do the opposite side so guys you can really shorten your time of rotator cuff workout it's a fun little um, routine that I've created just for fun and I hope you like it try it out if you're in a gym you can use two dumbbells like I've said before and remember a lot of people are going to look at it and say this is really isometric work well guys isometric works in the 60 they found out that it was great for rehabilitation and great for strength work it just uh, just I guess uh, died down a little bit in the 80s but we can use that with the bands and not overload or rotators in a very good way so I hope you like this little exercise guys try it out let me know what you think it's a, uh, a stretching samurai exclusive I hope you like it let me know what you think ciao